today the topic of discussion is foreign key in sql we have already discussed in our previous video foreign key implementation referential integrity constraints and on delete casket we have discussed all these things theoretically and now in my second video as i told you in my first video that i'll i'll implement all those topics which i taught you in previous video in oracle so this video is all about implementation of those, these topics so let's start with oracle first so i'm i'm coming to my oracle and what my doing is that i am first of all i'm dropping if there is some table existing so there were two table one was student and one was subject so if let's see is can i drop child first drop drop table subject s u b j e c t dot treble subject uh table drop yes we can drop and drop table drop table uh drop table and table is student s t u d e n t student yes we have dropped both the table so let's start by creating the table what was our table uh student table was master table so let's create a master table first create table student s t u d e n t create table student and column were role role number was column role int and this was primary key p r i m a r y primary key another column was what other another column if i'm not wrong uh, was name then name varchar v v a r c h a r varchar and the size is suppose 15 and the third column was uh, uh, course c o u r s e course and v a r c h a r varchar and suppose this value is 7 fine okay so what i'm trying to tell you is that please watch my video uh, theoretical video first and then come to this video uh, because of which you will able to correlate the things which i'm trying to run over here fine so one table created the uh, master table is created now i'm creating a child table so what how we create a child table create table subject create table subject subject one was role number role int and i told you what to do here you you do here what references r e f e r e n c e s references references what which what, what do you want to reference student table s t u d e n t so by doing this what am i trying to tell you is that this role this role this role is what referencing this role is referencing student and what is a student student is a table having role as a primary key so this role become foreign key over here fine okay then we have second column column as course uh, if i'm not wrong subject code second column was subject code then sub code and this was of type integer okay and third was subject name sub name s u p n a m subject name okay subject name and data type was varchar fine so by doing this i am creating a table subject where role number is acting as a foreign key fine okay so table is created so finally we have created two tables let's see the description of this table d e s c student s t u d e n t so student is a table having three columns role name and course where a role is primary key and it cannot be null you can clearly see it. here role number cannot be role number cannot be null fine okay and second let's see the description of subject D E S C subject, subject, S U B J E C T subject, and you can see subject is also having a three column role, subject code, and subject name, where everything can be null. So you can clearly see that is foreign key can be null. Fine. Okay. Now comes the insertion. I told you what was insertion constraint that value cannot be inserted in a child table if the value is not lying in a master table. If you see, if we have just created a table, we have just created student table and we have just created a subject table. No table is having any value. Now, if you directly try to insert value in subject table, it will create an error. Why? Because that value is not in a student table. So if you let's see if you try to if you try to insert value in subject table suppose i'm trying to insert this value in a subject table that is 1001 and dbms that is one uh, uh, the first column is role the second column is subject code and third column is subject now if you want to try if you are you know trying to insert this value what will happen this will not let you let you see you are getting an error integrity constraint violated parent key not found it's clearly showing that the value which you are trying to insert in child table is not present in a master table and you cannot do so what you need to do is you need to insert in subject master table first and what is master table student so let's 
insert value in student s t u d e n t student first student values rule number 1 second was name let's see let's say the name is john and uh, and course he is doing is mca let's see he is doing a course mca so he has one row created uh, so this shows that you can insert value in master table and only then you can insert value in child table so let's insert one more value in the student table okay so say this is 2 and now comes james j a m e s and sub uh, course he is doing suppose mba mba so here we have created two values uh, that is select star from student s t u d e n t let's see the master table yes master table is having two values and let's see is there any value in subject table child table no row selected there is no value can be insert now yes we can insert how we can insert insert into subject insert into subject subject s u b j e c t subject values and suppose uh, can i insert one yes one we can insert because one is already in master table one and sub second was subject code let's see subject code is 001 and uh, third is what uh, subject name let's see the subject name is d b m s so let's see can we insert yes we have inserted because why we have inserted because this value is lying in what master table let's insert second value uh, roll number 2 roll number 2 let's see subject code is 003 and subject name is sql sql can we insert yes we can insert but can we insert roll number 3 i want answer fast can we insert roll number 3 no you cannot insert because rule number 3 was not in a master table fine okay so this what's insertion constraint let's study the deletion constraint and what is deletion constraint you cannot delete from master table if the value is lying in a child table that is if suppose uh, i show you this student table student table is having two values and suppose i want to delete uh, rule number 2 will i be able to do this no because the constraint says delete from child first what if we try to delete from master first let's see delete from delete from student s t u d e n t student where w h e r e where where a role is equal to 2 see the integrity constraint you are getting an error no you cannot integrity constraint violated why child record is found that is it's clearly showing that the value is in a child table you cannot delete sir you cannot delete from the master table you cannot delete from the master table because value is lying in a child table what if you want to delete this same value with in a uh, is the same value from uh, sub uh, child table can be yes you can see this yes one row deleted now if you want to delete the same value in student table can you delete now yes you can delete now s t u d e n t because this value have we have already deleted from subject table see this now we have deleted both the values so if you want to check you can clearly check select star from student there is only one value now we have deleted select star from subject s u b j e c t and you can clearly see that we have deleted both the row number 2 from both the tables now comes the third question was on delete cascade can we delete row number 1 from master table no as per now you cannot delete because you need to delete from subject subject table first but what if we i want to in that case you need to redeclare you need to redefine the creation of subject Uh, that is child table so first delete this child table d r o p drop table subject s u b j e c t subject so we have deleted this subject table and now we are recreating now we are recreating so we recreate we have already created create table subject role in reference as a student and after that what you put here is that on delete cascade on d e l e t e delete cascade c a s c a d e on delete on delete cascade i'm oh, fine so the moment you do is you have created a table now the our subject table is empty first insert one value so let's insert one value in what <clears throat> let insert one value in subject table that is uh, this uh, uh, 1 001 and dbms now now both the table now see both the table student and subject table. this is subject table and uh, this is student table both table is having one one value now if we want to delete the value from master table can we do yes now you can do so uh, what was the query the query was delete from student where role is equal to 1 as per previous uh, uh, structure you cannot but can you delete now yes 
you can see now you have deleted and see see the magic if you see the magic the you have deleted the value from student but if you see the value in subject table subject now subject you can clearly see subject table have, was having row number one and non printing subject one there is no row fine so you have seen the beauty uh, though it has directly deleted in both the tables so uh, this was the real beauty and at last i'll say uh, thank you so much